This week finally saw the opening of the semi-immersive production of Newsies at the Tropical Wembley Park Theatre. We here in the UK have been waiting years for a production of Newsies. It was weird that we never got it. And we've been kind of loving the pro shot ever since, just waiting for the day that we could finally go see it live on our stages. But I must say, what a perfect time for the show to open now. Here in the UK, we are seeing more and more workers going on strike every single day. This month alone, we have rail strikes, mail strikes, NHS strikes ambulance strike that strikes all across the board just like the newsies in this show But, if you are new to this channel, hi, I'm Ellie, I talk about theatre, I do reviews, I do discussions, and if that sounds interesting to you, please consider hitting like and subscribing, it really helps me out and helps out the channel. I'm going to start with some of my thoughts on the show itself, it's going to be quite quick, and then we're going to talk more about the immersive elements of the show. So this version of Newsies is very similar to the show that we've seen before. It's a story we all know and love as Jack Kelly leads his fellow Newsies into a strike after the price that they have to pay for the papers they sell goes up. The script is tightly written and very engaging. There's a lot of very interesting commentary on social norms and different classes and how these classes interact. But I think it's the music in this show that really shines. Songs like Santa Fe, Seize the Day, Watch What Happens have already transcended the show and it's really great to see them within the context of the story. They are so iconic and they sound amazing with these orchestrations. But come on, the reason you're here is to hear about the staging, the immersion and the choreography. So let's discuss a little bit of that. Now this version of the show has very big shoes to fill. The Broadway version and the filmed tour version are both so beloved. And I do really appreciate how they've kind of stepped out of their comfort zone to build a new kind of semi-immersive production of this show. Out of all the kind of immersive trend that we've been seeing with big West End theatre at the moment, I feel like this is probably one of the least immersive. And most of this immersive nature comes from the seating plan. The show is performed in thrust staging, with audience on three sides of the theatre, and each of these areas has been kind of separated and named after a different place in New York. We have Brooklyn, we have Manhattan, we have Woodside, we have the Bronx. And I like how this kind of separates the areas and it does actually play into some parts of the show a little bit, which I really did appreciate. Now, I will say, during the first preview that I had several friends go to, there was a pre-show element where the newsies were kind of milling around you and milling the stage area before the show actually started. When I saw it, and I saw it in the week that it opened, but a couple of days before the official opening date, this element was gone. I do think that this made the actual opening of the show more impactful, but I don't know if this change was only because of something that happened in the day, or it's something that is changed during previews. So if anyone has seen the show after Monday the 5th of December, do let me know in the comments whether this pre-show has come back. During the show, the newsies use a lot of the space in the theatre. There are several passages and gangways that allow our cast to make their way around the, all of the different areas in the theatre. They can make a full 360 run all the way around the theatre itself and through the audience. This is probably the most immersive that the show gets, as there are several moments where you may find the cast members running right in front of you, or singing and talking to each other right beside you. I will say the newsies don't really interact with you that much. It's not an immersive show in that type of sense. They may sing a line to you, but they won't kind of interact with you. But there are areas in the theatre where you're more likely to have a newsy kind of stood right beside you or right next to you, which I will kind of highlight with using the seating plan and show you where these areas are here. There you go. You enjoying that? You see where the newsies are? You want to book those ones? I don't know. You do you, babes. The other thing you might get is a newspaper or two thrown at you if you're in the front row. You know, grab your newspaper, sell it on eBay, stage use prop. <laughs> 
However, I think the other way that I would call this immersive is through its tricks and its staging. I will say there was a joke in the theatre community going around because a lot of us noticed that on the Newsies website, there was a credit for a flying team. And we were all like thinking, what? Are the Newsies gonna fly? Are we having flying Newsies? And I'm glad to say that yes, the Newsies do fly, but not in the way you're thinking. They don't fly like Peter Pan. There's a lot of kind of tricks that have them swing around and hoisted into the air. There's a few really impressive sequences where the Newsies kind of climb up on ropes and get lifted up or hang themselves from lights and start swinging. There's a really impressive trick that's similar to this at the start of the show that I don't really want to spoil because it was so much fun. But if you're in Manhattan, you'll kind of be around the area for this trick. These are the part of the show that I really feel like gives it its own identity and I really love that for it. Where I will say this show kind of struggles in the shadow of the Broadway version is in its choreography. The choreography was one of the biggest things that made the original Broadway Newsies so impressive. It had such a definitive style with all of the stunts, the tricks, the flips, the jumps. And I think any version of Newsies is now expected to have this same high, high, high tier of choreography. And yes, the things that you kind of expect are in here. There's a lot of the typical Newsies jumps, there's a lot of the tricks that you can see, and a lot of these are quite impressive. Impressive, but I feel like the best numbers in the show are the ones where they really let loose and have fun with the area and the staging that they have and kind of step away or reinvent the Broadway version a little bit. King of New York is the best number in the entire show because it feels like it took the basic idea of the Broadway version, uh, it's, it's a big tap number, and then expanded it and kept throwing new things into it and new ideas and just kept throwing and throwing and throwing. So it's just this absolutely bombastic number at the top of Act 2 that just throws everything in and the kitchen sink and also the bathtub as well because why not obviously the choreography is good in this show and i feel like this criticism is is a little bit more nitpicky but it is something that i wanted to mention because i think what this show really has spectacle even with the way that they transition from scene to scene we have pieces of set flown down from the gods we have the lamps that the newsies swing on, we have ropes and we have chases throughout the audience. This is what really gives the show its identity and really makes you feel immersed within the show itself. There's a difference between a show that makes you feel immersed and a show that is immersive. And I feel like newsies kind of hits the feels immersed area of this. Being on the sideline seats, I definitely felt very close to this action. But the question remains, where should you sit when you go and see Newsies? Actually, I'm going to say that the less immersive seats, the slightly further back ones, are probably good, especially on your first time viewing the show. I feel like there's a lot going on and the set is so expansive into the area that sitting a little bit further back to really get a sense of what's going on and to see the full picture of the area and of the staging is probably your best bet on a first viewing. Just so you can truly see and admire everything that this production throws in. But if you like to be a little bit further forward, if you like to be immersed in, I probably wouldn't say the front rows. I'd say a little bit further back, either further back in Brooklyn or on the side seats. Specifically Woodside and Richmond. I think that Flushing and the Bronx are a little bit slightly too on the side. That you don't really get the full immersiveness. And there's definitely a few things that you can miss if you're in these seating areas. But where I was sat in Richmond, I was very impressed with how the newsies were around me. And there were some really impressive tricks. Like I had a newsie flying down from above my head and newspaper articles falling onto me. It was very, very cool. So if you want a slightly more immersive experience, I would recommend Brooklyn, Woodside, and Richmond. But Manhattan does seem like a good place to go, going a little bit further back to truly appreciate everything that's going on. Now, let's talk cast. 
first off, let's just give a shout out to this entire ensemble. All of the ensemble give their all to this impressive and challenging choreography. Each newsie has such character, even though a lot of them only get a few speaking lines each. They are a fantastic ensemble and deserve all of the praise in the world. Alongside that, we have our young cast. In this show, there's the role of Les, who is a 10-year-old and played by a young actor. In a performance I saw, I saw Hayden Court. And what a fantastic young actor he is. He was so sweet and lovable. Such presence from such a small character on stage. He had such presence on stage at such a young age. A really great addition to the show. Ryan Copel as Davey was such a great heart to the show. His performance of Seize the Day is so heartwarming and really, really engaging. I was really surprised to find out that Cameron Blakely was in this show, who previously played Gomez Adams in the Adams Family Tour. And he is great as Mr. Pulitzer. He has that kind of villainous nature that, you know, you dislike him, but you can't help but watch him. Moya Angela gets such a fantastic big number in the show as Meta and sells it to a T. I almost wish she got more to sing in this show. What a fantastic voice. And then there's our two leads. Bronte Barbe plays Catherine Plummer. I really love her presence in the show. A lot of the time she's in the audience, she's watching on to what the newsies are doing. And I really did enjoy her version of Watch What Happens, which if I'm correct, I think they've ever so slightly slowed down the start of. Maybe that's just me being nerdy and 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 <laughs> being so used to the uh, cast recording. But yeah, I think they slowed it down ever so slightly. But she has the kind of passion and the engagement that makes Catherine such an endearing character. I really did enjoy her performance. But the star of this show is Michael Ahomka Lindsay as Jack Kelly. What a fantastic protagonist and leading male role. Jack Kelly is one of the biggest musical theatre leading roles and Lindsay just performs it with ease. He is fantastic, his belts are so powerful, he sings Santa Fe with such passion. I really feel like he dives into the different elements of the character, the positives and the negatives so well, he's so fleshed out. What a fantastic, fantastic actor. I feel honoured to have watched him. Altogether, I feel like Newsies is one of our strongest new musicals to premiere this year. It's weird to call Newsies new, but that's what we got to go with because it's a new musical. It's never premiered in the UK, so it's a new musical. <laughs> this is my contender so far for the best new musical of the year. It's so flashy and fun and bombastic. It throws everything in there. It's a great story with great music staged in such an interesting and different way. I had a blast watching Newsies and I would recommend it to anyone. But what do you think? Have you seen Newsies, either the Broadway or this new production? What do you think? Are you excited to catch this new production? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments down below. If you did enjoy this video, please consider hitting like and subscribing. It really helps me out helps the channel. There's some links to some other videos on screen right now, but that's it for me today and I'll hopefully see you next time. Bye.